what is going on guys and welcome back to part two of my back deck build on my john boat to bass boat conversion so today i'm going to be drilling some holes in the transom sounds sketchy but uh shouldn't be too bad so in part one i built and painted this deck frame and the first thing i want to do in part two is screw this down to the transom so it has support back here in the back All right, that should hold pretty good. Let's do the other side now. All right, so here is my piece of half inch plywood. I already painted one side yesterday while I was painting the deck just to get a little head start on this video, but I'm gonna be placing this up on the boat and then tracing around the edges and then just trying to guesstimate how much I need to cut off of that for the actual deck. So let's uh, see what we can do. So now I'm just gonna trace along the bottom of the boat. Okay, so now we have the outside shape of the boat, but we need this line right here, not this line. So, so maybe we could do one inch and three quarter and one and a half. So I'm gonna do one and a half. I may have to cut this twice. Most likely we'll have to cut this twice. So now I need to go along an inch and a half all the way around the inside line and trace that out. So I always get comments on my videos of people telling me the easier method or the way I should have done something I did in my videos. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a comment on this. Someone's gonna say, I should have got cardboard and laid it down and made a template of that. But I don't have cardboard. So I'm gonna do it the way I'm doing it, which is the same way I did it on the front deck and as you can see, the front deck came out perfect. So, I know about the cardboard method. I just don't have any. So I'm improvising, making my own method, which is I just cut out a block that is one and a half inch. I'm gonna be going around with the pen and marking marks, and then I'll go back through with a ruler and draw out the lines. So I just test fitted it in the boat and it was a bit too big. So now I have a quarter inch marked off on each side and now I'm about to go cut that. Okay, so it got dark, but I went ahead and did everything I needed to do off camera to get to this point to be able to bring it into the garage. So I got it all cut out to where it fits in the boat perfectly. That is a notch I made to go around the navigation light that was sticking down under the deck. So far it fits perfectly, but I still need to make one more cut right here. I went ahead and made that mark. And now I need to go ahead and trace all the framing onto the plywood and that way I know where to cut out my hatches.
Time to paint. I know what you're thinking. I just drew those lines and now I'm gonna paint over them. But usually the first coat does not cover up those lines. Even if it does, I can just easily go draw them back on. It's not that big of a deal, but I know for sure I need to get a few coats of paint on this and 24 hours to dry is a, a long time and I wanna get this done. So having to redraw the lines is worth getting one coat of paint done. So it is the next day. Today I want to start off with adding more support to this frame. I need to add a few more cross beams here for support for the hatch and then the same over here. I need to make two of those and then also want to add one more beam going from here to there and that will support all of this. I may even do one going that way as well. Just in case anyone stands up here or just sits anywhere on that side so that's the plan add more support but here is some two by fours I need to go ahead and measure this and then cut it okay so now we have a brace for this hatch a brace for this hatch and then we have a brace for right here and there is the piece I was talking about for the edge I'm gonna cut out a few more of these one will go here and then one will go down here as well and same on the other side because once I cut out this hatch this piece of plywood right here will just be floating it'll just be sitting on this one edge and it's gonna need some support to uh, stay up so that is what these are for. This will get screwed on to the frame, and as you can see, it's butted up against the wall. So, I'm gonna cut out three more of those, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and add one more brace right here. So I need to measure that. And this brace is just to support anyone sitting there or standing up, walking, they may step right there. And I'm only using half inch plywood. So it's gonna need some braces to be strong enough to hold. So we need to cut one more piece at 17 and an eighth. I'll go with that. Well, a lot about the hatches being symmetrical. That one's gonna be a little bit shorter, but that will be hidden behind the seat. So I don't think it will be that big of a deal or that noticeable. So this side isn't gonna have a folding seat. It's just gonna have the carpeted deck where someone can sit down on. So I'm not having to worry about it clearing anything. So this is probably just gonna go right next to this one. And then the deck will end right here and the hatch will sit on its own two by four. So that will go right there. Now I just need to mark those marks for the height of it. Okay, so I got all of those braces cut down to the right height. As you can see, all the clean pieces of wood. Now I just need to go cut out, let's see, one, two, three. So I need to go cut out three more pieces just like that. Cutting all these pieces isn't too hard, it just takes a lot of trial and error. Okay, so now I have all of the pieces cut, and there is the entire frame. It will completely support anywhere you sit, or anywhere you stand. So now I need to go ahead and pre-drill all the holes and screw in all the new pieces to the frame. And then we can go paint some more. Awesome. I hate painting so much. This is oil-based paint. I love oil-based paint and I also hate oil-based paint. I hate it because it takes 24 hours or more to dry. And I love it because if you do three or four coats, it almost has like a plastic look to it, like it's perfect. But 
the drying time is just the worst. All right, we're now back in the garage and I got my lines drew up for the new pieces of 2x4 that I added to the frame. And now I can go through and trace out my cut outlines for my hatches. So I'm gonna have two hatches, one here and one here. So let's go ahead and trace up these lines. I'm in the shed, gonna cut this out, sand it, and then we can move back in the garage and do some painting. Okay, so now we have all of these parts painted. I mentioned in the last video that we would get this back deck done in this video, but uh, it's two in the morning and it's, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I wish it could, but uh, I guess I'm daily vlogging it, boat build style. Uh, posted one yesterday, gonna post one today, and just, just gonna keep going until I finish the boat. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Part three of the back deck coming out soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.